Good morning, my name is Henry Simmons, I'm Chief Executive of Alzheimer's Scotland and today I'll be participating in this conference giving a talk on the importance of post-diagnostic support and the way that that is actually implemented throughout Scotland. So today is extremely important for us and, and indeed Scotland is the only country in the world that has given a post-diagnostic guarantee that every person diagnosed with dementia will receive a minimum of one year's post-diagnostic support. Now, the way that we provide that support, the way that we develop that support is still in its infancy, we're still learning about it, and today we're going to explore a, a really important method that's been developed by our colleagues in the occupational therapy community. Now, from Alzheimer Scotland's perspective, we're keen to ensure that individuals, when they receive that diagnosis, are treated with the utmost respect, that they're given the right to choice, power and control that they're supported to live well with dementia and that what we must do is bring every opportunity to the, the best evidence base of practice into that post-diagnostic arena. We're still learning. Uh, today's a great opportunity to explore some work that's been done. Um, it's an award-winning project we're going to hear about, but we're also going to explore the concepts around post-diagnostic support that we've developed in Alzheimer's Scotland, and that very much is about taking the person, their family, their community at the heart that support and ensuring that we give people the best possible chance to live as well as they can for as long as they can with their dementia being the, 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 the thing that we understand but we don't drive everything through. Well, Our primary objective is to make sure that no one goes through the experience of dementia alone. Within the next 10 years we would like to have a vision in Scotland where people get an early diagnosis because they're not frightened of that and they know they'll get support that they'll receive the best possible level of post-diagnostic support that will help them become uh, as well informed about the illness but to live as good a life as possible with the illness for as long as possible. As their needs change, we want to ensure that every person accesses a dementia practice coordinator and that that person is able to make sure that as a person is going through the vast array of health and social care services that they're coordinated to the best effect for that individual. And as the person's needs continue to change towards the advanced stage of the illness, the right level of support and resources are there for them at that point. So that the journey from the point of diagnosis through to end of life is as smooth, as highly skilled, as well supported as it possibly can be. But underpinning all that, the belief that we have in Scotland is that we can do something to support people with dementia, that we can do it as much from our individual human intervention as we can from any medical pharmacological interventions and we can truly transform our system and our society to enable people to live well.